Hi everyone, welcome to another Madeline Makes. My name is Madeline and I like to make things. Usually that's baking and today is one of those days. Today I'll be making what I have dubbed cranberry breakfast cookies. That's not what the recipe originally called them, but that's what they've become for me, so I thought I would share that recipe with you today. So as I mentioned in a previous video, I took a step back from baking when I had to make some restrictions to my diet, mainly cutting out gluten, and that was pretty devastating to me for a while. But eventually it was Christmas time, which is my absolute favorite holiday season, time of year. I'm one of those people who starts getting into the Christmas spirit just before Thanksgiving. So going into the Christmas holidays, not being able to potentially do one of my most favorite activities, which is baking at Christmas, um, that felt really devastating to me and I wasn't gonna let that happen. So I got back into baking around this time simply by looking up gluten-free Christmas cookies. And there were tons. Cookies range from very simple to very complex and I found a ton of recipes that could accommodate a gluten-free diet and that's really what kind of got me back into baking. And this was one of the recipes that stood out to me in my baking extravaganza as I do every year. Not only because it was a simple recipe and pretty accessible to someone who was getting brand new into gluten-free baking, but also because they were absolutely delicious. This was the recipe that really broke down some of my preconceived ideas about gluten-free baking, which is that it can be delicious and it can be pretty easy as well. So in honor of these cookies originating as a Christmas recipe, I am donning my Christmas apron today. I hate that I can only wear my Christmas apron during a month out of the year, so thought I'd put it on today, even though it's May and like 90 degrees outside, but that's okay. Shut up, it's fine. Now that I've gotten some more complex gluten-free baking under my belt, I really see how simple this recipe is and I probably didn't have to scour the internet for a solution <laughs> to come across this recipe. But for me, it's not about the complexity of this recipe, it's kind of what it means to me now as I'm back into my passion of baking. This recipe really broke down the, my preconceived ideas of baking with a restriction and they've just become special to me for that reason. This recipe really showed me that gluten-free baking can be delicious not despite being gluten-free, but just because it is delicious. And that was an exciting thing for me to discover. So I've dubbed these cookies breakfast cookies because I found them to be really satisfying in the morning over a cup of tea. These cookies are more of an oatmeal cookie than like a traditional like just chocolate chip cookie. So the oats in it make it really satiating first thing in the morning. The cranberry with the chocolate makes a really great fruitiness with that sweet tooth I think a lot of us, especially in the US, have in the morning. And then the cinnamon and the dough makes it a great pairing with a hot drink, tea or coffee, I imagine. I don't drink coffee, but I'm sure it would taste delicious. So yeah, I found myself making these quite a few times over the Christmas season and almost exclusively eating them first thing in the morning with my cup of tea. So while this recipe doesn't have any kinds of tips or tricks or even unusual ingredients like I like to throw in sometimes, I wanted to show this recipe because I wanted to show how something simple can really help you get back into your passion. For me, it was this simple recipe that got me back into my passion of baking. And if you're someone who is baking or just being a creative person in general with some kind of restriction, I hope that you don't see your restriction as a complete barrier. And I hope that you know you can still make something beautiful or delicious, in my case, despite any restriction you might have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Like I said, they're really delicious in the morning. But I also hope that if you're someone who is looking to get back into a passion after a setback, go for it, do it. Or if there's something you think that you can't do because something's holding you back, I encourage you to start small and give it a try and just see where it takes you. Okay, I have my tea. Today I made a honeycomb chai from David's Tea. Normally I would go for a black tea in the mornings because of the caffeine level, but um, it's dinner time. And I'm very caffeine sensitive. Uh, so I thought this would be a great way to get the spiced notes from tea that I really love, especially in the morning. That would pair well with the cinnamon in the cookies. So, and the sweetness with the honeycomb would go really well as well. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a great pairing. Delicious. Okay, assistant. 
amazing. You know, one of the reasons I think I really love these cookies is because they remind me of an oatmeal raisin cookie, which is delicious, but I'm sure you've had that experience where someone gives you a cookie and you think it's a chocolate chip cookie, but it's actually an oatmeal raisin cookie. And then when you take a bite, you realize, oh my gosh, this isn't a chocolate chip cookie. And you're disappointed. Even though it's a good cookie, it's just not a chocolate chip cookie, which, you know, is way different than an oatmeal raisin cookie. This is kind of both. It is oatmeal cookie with obviously the oats inside and chocolate and cranberries, which aren't raisins. I don't know, it makes sense to me. This is like if someone handed me a cookie and I was expecting a chocolate chip cookie but it was oatmeal raisin, this would be like the perfect cookie to get. You can't get disappointed, so. Anyway, I feel like that was a really strange way to describe a cookie, but it's my brain, don't worry about it. Hmm. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, then give it a like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. And if there's something you'd like to see me make, it could be sweet, it can be savory, it doesn't even have to be cooking, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into a pretty simple cookie recipe. Look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.